Hi, this is Michael VK5ZEA from Port Lincoln in South Australia. Another YouTube video, and today we're looking at an Odroid X. This is a uh, single board ARM based computer along the same lines as the Raspberry Pi and the, uh, the BeagleBone boards. Um, this one comes from a company called Hard Kernel in Korea, and they make all kinds of uh, ARM based, mainly Android uh, development systems although they do have uh, various distributions of Linux which will work on their boards. Um, I bought this one last year and actually got this before I got my Raspberry Pi computers. Um, it's got a quad-core Samsung Exynos processor, I think it's a 1.4 gigahertz, uh, one gigabyte of onboard RAM, 50-pin um, connector on the side is uh, for GPIO connections to uh, an LCD screen and other interfacing. Um, onboard audio codec with audio in and out. There's six USB ports, uh, Ethernet, HDMI is a uh, like a micro or mini HDMI port. I'm not sure which up the back. Um, SD card for storage, and also for a little bit of extra storage, I'll just flip it over carefully. There's an eMMC connector on the bottom, so you can add a little memory module on the bottom as well. Um, I've had this for a while, a while like I said, so I thought I should try, finally, uh, my hand at getting the G4 KLX DSTAR software running on it. And I've had a little bit of success. I've got it connected to a DVAP dongle. A um, little bit of struggling to get it all to work, and I still haven't got all the bugs sorted out. It is um, not starting the repeater software on boot. Uh, I've got to manually start it by brute force, but when it's going, it's it's fine. Um, I've got the system linked up to Reflector 12 Alpha at the moment. I think there's some. Hi, did you I think it's Al. Al. KK6 AL. I'm seeing pictures of that new uh, the version three of the DB repeater board. Uh, what does that do? What is it? Uh, I, they also talk about some transmit boards that they gotta they still gotta get on it. But is it gonna be a complete freestanding little? Uh, 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 radio or uh, what's the deal it looks really cool another uh, great little uh, package I have to be honest with you Al I have no idea I know that it's out there and I've, I've looked at the pictures of so, it so um, uh, it's, it's working um, this is now a superseded model they have the Odroid X2 which is uh, equipped with more memory and I think a slightly faster processor I think and they've also got a different version with a smaller form factor um, it's got a nice heat sink on the CPU but it's running cool I mean there's no almost no heat on that at all um, there's a lot of processors and services running on this it's running um, uh, Linaro operating system it's a, uh, a Linux operating system distro um, there's a lot of stuff running in there that doesn't need to be running so I probably should go through and cull a few things to uh, help improve it to work in this sort of configuration where I don't need a graphics display and, and all the others got Bluetooth modules loaded and all sorts of things which I just don't use. So um, a little bit of uh, work will need to go into that. Um, I was able to use the uh, Hans's, the DL5DI, his um, installation and configuration scripts, although like I said I do have some issues with um, not being able to make the repeater modules start automatically. Uh, but that's like a bit of a work in progress and I've got a few questions out there on the appropriate Yahoo groups about that. So uh, there you go, just another way of getting on air with uh, DSTAR and the G4 KLX software. This is a neat board. It wasn't cheap, it was about $129 US. Um, I think the replacement, the Odroid X2, is I think about $140 US, I think. So it's certainly a lot more expensive than the uh, the Raspberry Pi type of board but um, it is a lot more comprehensive hardware wise and like I said with the onboard audio codec with both in and out audio and GPIO pins um, this, this may really be a boon to someone using the G4 KLX software repeater that uses the onboard audio for the modem. So uh, this is Michael VK5ZEA73 for now and I'll talk to you again soon.